Hello guys and welcome back to our channel The Gaming Dino. Today we are going to see a new video, new type of video. Tips and tricks. Okay, I am gonna today tell tips and tricks on Jurassic World Alive. So now let's get into the video. The tip one is class advantage. There are three types, uh, four types of classes in this game. Fresh, cunning, resistance, and wild cards. And this picture is the picture of the class advantage. So you can use cunning against fresh, fresh against resistance, and resistance against cunning. So cunning has the ability to distract their opponents, but they have low health. And in case of fresh, freshes as can deal high damage. and a medium amount of health which has more critical chances and uh, has the most uh, power to deal damage resistance has the ability to uh, cleanse the distractions any negative options they can cleanse heal and they don't do much damage but they have more health and cunning plus resistant as distracting abilities plus cleansing abilities or heal abilities cunning plus fresh has distracting abilities and also have uh, um fresh abilities like uh, differentiating impact differentiating strike or differentiating rampage and the second tip is for players who play raids on raids there is a big creature or a boss it's also called a boss we need to defeat them like now the gameplay going on we are playing against the boss so in case of the boss to have a balanced raid we need to have a at least one healer and one good damager at least we need two of them in our raid to get good but in case of lower level raids you can use like uh, only fresh but healing for like uh, unique legendary and apex or really needed healers and epic raids also need but they are not compulsory for uh, raids epic raids you can even win but it depends on the animal i mean the boss and the tip 3 is not to waste coins uh, i am telling about uh, when leveling up some other animals only level up the animal that you need to use don't level up unnecessarily because coins we need to level up uh, if you have 10000 dna only use it on the creature you need or if you have like 10000 dna on useless creature don't use it because it just waste our coins and we are not going to use it so it won't if in case you have you keep it if when you need you can use it at the point when you need to get coins we can do achievements and also daily missions we should not waste our dna on useless creatures when you need you can use it and the fourth tip is to um, get dna you may need uh, the creature uh, dna more you can get uh, it in several ways first way is to play camp again mode because in that mode you can get uh, many creatures dna and i will recommend you to finish uh, um, mostly till legendary test so you can get more dna and legendaries also will get you, you will get like 10 to 15 dna for legendaries at that point so if you need uh, dna more you can play like uh, camp again mode and you can open incubators like uh, raid incubators after winning a raid you can do that so in case you don't have dna sometimes it will be in the store but it will only have chances so i'll mostly recommend you to play camp gain mode and open incubators like pvp incubators also raid incubators if but most of the creatures are not in raids so i will recommend you to play pvp more and get uh, more incubators i will tell you a pvp tip 
and the fifth tip is to use swamping attacks so when you swamp the creature it will have a special abilities or attacks like you can use stunning attack more like that while using that your enemy will be confused when using stunning attack and also he will get surprised so you don't you will don't know what to do when to you do like that but after a move it will get over so you will again think what to do on that creature so by using that for one attack you can surprise him so if you are you, you are fighting with uh, press uh, with resistant means you will swamp it to cunning then it will have advantage and also the enemy will get confused like how to hit them like what attack to use like that so while using this in pvp it will be a big advantage for you and big advantage uh, disadvantage for the enemy so you can follow this tip to win more matches and the sixth tip is to use folks because uh, why i am telling to use folks is because you know, they have observability even you have like 2000 damage but they can only take one you can only they only take out one creature you will have rest of the health like that in this clip i used observed to win so i finished two creatures with that so you can use this you can win more pvp matches tip 7 is to use armor the creatures because uh, using armor creatures reduces damage against the cunning also everything but when you use it against the attacks like fresh impact it will break it will don't care your uh, armor and also armor perfect strike will take out your armor but when using against the distractions everything it will be helpful you to you it makes a big difference between you and the enemy so use you can use this tip to get more incubators in pvp and win more matches so that's all for today guys i hope to see you again in the next video so till that bye bye